This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> Welcome to Art Attack and another collection of visual treats. I'm just having my treat here, hamburger. I'll save that for me tea later on. Now then, whenever you go to the beach, do you collect pebbles and shells? Well, the next time you're there, pick up some of these bigger, smooth stones. I'll show you why. Now, I've painted this stone blue all over using acrylic paint, and I've drawn a design on it in pencil. Now, I don't know whether you can see that design. I hope you can't, because I want you to try and guess what it is I'm doing. I'm just going to take some white acrylic paint and just paint along my design. The good thing about this acrylic paint is it goes on almost anything. Mind you, you can use poster paint or even felt-tip pen on these pebbles. Now, I'm going to paint in a couple of stripes here. You're bound to guess what this is. One, two, three. Doesn't matter if it's not neat, because you can tidy it up. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. This, bit more of the design across the top, like that. And then a bit of these fiddly lines in there. Let's have a steady hand for this. There it is. One, two, three, two, three. Yes, I'm sure you've guessed it. It is, of course, a stone sneaker. Now, when you've done your design, you just put it to one side and leave it to dry, and then paint on some yellow laces. And this is the finishing touch. This is the thing that neatens it up a bit. Just go round the edges with a black felt tip pen, and it just brings out the paint nicely. And of course, fill this bit in. That's where the feet go. And there it is. Very easy to do. Very simple. Looks good. And next time you go to the beach, I'm sure they're bound to have them in your size. Like good modern paperweights or even ornaments. And of course, you don't just have to do sneakers. Now, where was the hamburger? Ah, there it is. Mmm. Have a go. Use nice, smooth stones in a drop of paint and let your imagination run wild. It's a nice idea, isn't it? Brightening up some dull object using a little bit of paint. What do you reckon? A couple of gallons of emulsion. There's something very strange going on behind me. Three people, living sculptures.
Say, Watty, I hear we're going to be eliminated. Uh, uh, no, 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 um, animated. <gasps> what on earth is that? Um, made into a cartoon. <sighs> exactly. Yes, because today is the world premiere of the animated cartoon version of Sherlock Bones. And I'm going to leave it to the expert animators, Paul and Roland from Commanding Images. Now, guys, this is how we remember my two cartoon characters. I've now handed them over to you, and you've developed them. How have you developed them? What have you actually done? Uh, I made some small changes to Sherlock. Um, I put a gap between his teeth. Yeah. When I heard the voice, it reminded me of Terry Thomas. <laughs> and gave him less teeth um, and one finger. He's only three fingers. Why is that? Uh, it's a tradition in animation. Um, because you've hundreds of drawings, um, it's easier to follow through. Less um, movement? Yeah. So what have we got here? Uh, we this is a three-dimensional model of Sherlock Bones, and it's the same principle as the egg you were doing last week. Oh, right. That's the first time I've ever seen him from the back, actually. Yeah. And what have we got here? Um, I do acting drawings, um, poses of the character before yeah. I animate. Is that so you can get into them all the yes. different poses? Yeah, so what about the movement itself, Roland? Well, it's exactly the same technique as a flicker ball. Oh, and these are easy to make, aren't they? Sort of thing you can make at home and a couple of flicks and you've got some movement there. Yeah. How did that transpose to bones? Uh, it's the same principle for the animation. Uh, I test it out by flicking it. Okay, let's have a look. And... Fantastic. He moves. We have some key drawings over here. Okay. The animation. Ah, these are on... What's this cell? Yes. Well, this is the uh, background. We've yeah. left it clear so you can see exactly what's going on. This is uh, his body. Now, when you say key drawings, is that one stage after the other? Yes. Okay. Separate leg. We've got to wear gloves in order to protect the acetate. How many drawings do you reckon you've done altogether? Um, 1,600 to the minute. Gee, okay. um, his leg goes up and shoots down, whacking down the bin pedal and sending Watty flying up into the air. Fantastic. Do you have any finished artwork? Yes, we've got background here. Like that, a finished so cell. Texture card. Yeah. The actual body of the background. Bones himself. And just to show you how it's going to Look shoot. Just to show you how it's going to shoot onto camera, we've got a framing card here. And this is how Sherlock Bones is going to look on your telly. The world premiere of the Sherlock Bones animation. is my trusty friend, WhatsApp. WhatsApp? Hello, Bones. Ah, there you are. So, why am I the world's greatest detective? Uh, because you keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Exactly. Help! Bones, you seem to have slipped on the outer casing of an exotic tropical fruit. I beg your pardon. You slipped on a banana skin, Bones. Here's the evidence. I say, Watty, that's litter. A diabolical crime. Who do a thing like that? You, Bones. Well, we must do something. Bin its bones where it belongs. Exactly. So, yet another incredibly dangerous case solved by the world's greatest detective, Mr... Mr... Me. Paul, Roland, thank you very much indeed. You've certainly given me an art attack. Brilliant stuff. My name's Mark, and I did this. My name's Ben, and I did this. My name's Nicola and I did this.
first of all, we took a picture of me just in black and white, and we turned it into a negative slide. We projected the slide up onto the wall into different sections, and we drew round each different section, either in painting, crayon or pencil, and it turned out like this. by actually taking something away, then just watch this. Chaplin. Try it yourself on a smaller scale with a bit of black card, a straw and some sherbet because using a vacuum cleaner might be dangerous. You could have an accident. Steady! Steady! I discovered something really weird the other day when I was doodling. Actually it's quite hard to describe. If you draw a shape, it can be any shape you like, and then you pass lines through it, as long as they go in one side and out the other, and again, the lines can be any shape or size you like, then you can actually make some really bizarre patterns by shading in these blocks. And you will find that no two blocks of the same colour ever touch, except at the corners. Don't ask me why. It just works like that. I challenge you to prove my theory wrong. Try it for yourself. If you'd like the facts on today's art attacks, or if you'd like the facts on any other art attacks, send for your artifacts to me, The Head, P.O. Box 123, Southampton S09 7HH. That's P.O. Box 123, Southampton S09 7HH. <sighs> Good night. See you then. Now, don't forget, you don't have to be a great artist to have an art attack. Just go out and have fun with art. Yeah, these are some of my favourite art materials. Gold and silver pens. See you next time.